Welcome to Problems and Solutions. Today we will solve the problem 35 of chapter 6 of Fundamentals of Physics. The two blocks in the figure are not attached to each other. The coefficient of static friction between the blocks is 0 0.38, but the surface beneath the larger block is frictionless. What is the minimum magnitude of the horizontal force, F, required to keep the smaller block from slipping down the larger block? This problem seems difficult, but in fact is not. Let's draw the, the, the force to see what, what we have. So, we have the larger block here. and the smaller one, let's draw it. Okay, let's identify the force. This is an important part of the solution of this problem. So we have here the known force, or the unknown force, the, the force that we want to discover. Let's draw it in in red, so you have here the force F. We have, of course, the weight mg. We have the reaction force. So let's represent it. Let's write the the letters, so we'll have F here, here MG, and let's represent this force as FR, it's a reaction force. It's important to observe, to notice that these forces are different, these both are different. It is very important to notice this. This is a, a reaction of the surface. And we also have the friction here. Static friction. So here. Here are the all the forces acting on the smaller block. The larger one we will have here of course we also have no no it's, it's okay here we we have the of course the the weight the gravitational force so let's represent it and the normal force this force will not interfere in the movement so it's not important here in this problem MD and here the reaction of the surface and also the third uh, law of Newton the reaction here we have FR FR and this is the force. So now only what's next to to do is to write the equations, and it's simple in this case. So let's start with the the larger block. We write the sum of forces equals the mass and uh, multiplied by acceleration, in, in this case FR equals MA. The acceleration in this case is the same. Both blocks are have the, the same acceleration. So the, the smaller block will have in the x direction one equation, it will be F 
minus fr equals the mass m and the same acceleration it's equal let's do it in blue and also an equation in the x direction in the x direction we'll have the friction force friction minus the weight equals zero so here we have the equations and we can write the friction force as the re <clears throat> sorry the reaction force the coefficient multiplied by multiplied by the reaction force so this equation we can substitute the friction force and we will have let's copy and paste so you have we will have here you can write this way the friction multiplied by fr equals mg and the first equation we let's oh it's not not necessary to we can use the first equation and put fr in the second equation so we will we'll have f minus m multiplied by the acceleration equals m a also and so f equals the sum of the masses multiplied by the acceleration and the second equation we also rewrite using the first one so the coefficient multiplied by m a equals m g so now we have here two equations to solve a very simple system so the first one let's cop first equation and the second equation what we want to to know in this case is the the force so we can isolate the acceleration in the second equation so we write the acceleration will be uh, m divided by m and g divided by the friction coefficient and so f will be the sum of the masses multiplied by this term and here we have the solution of the problem now let's see the the values of the masses 16 and 88 let's write it 16 kilograms and larger is 88 kilograms and the friction coefficient is 0 0.38 0 0.38 so f is 88 plus 16 multiplied by 16 divided by 8 8 multiplied by 9.81 divided by 0 0.38 now let's use our calculator 
So we have 88 plus 16 multiplied by 16 divided by 88 multiplied by 9.81 divided by 0 0.38 that's it so we'll find that f will be approximately 488 newtons and the problem is solved